Hi there, it's Alyssa, and today I wanted to talk to you about a subject that you probably don't associate with jewelry, but it is King Solomon, and actually his inspiration for designs and jewelry. Let me start by saying I am no expert. I am not religious, I am no expert. I did graduate from university from UCLA with a degree in Judaic studies, but that was a long time ago. So I wanted to tell you very briefly about King Solomon, who was obviously the king of Israel. And he only lived for a short time, for about 50 years. Well, maybe back then it was a lot longer. But he wrote the book of Proverbs, and he actually was a poet in a way. Um, he was spoken to by God and was given a... Um, a bunch of seals, a bunch of symbols, and that's what we have used now to make our Seal of Solomon. It is our first run, so we've only made two, and we've actually made them double-sided. One is for wealth and protection, and one is for, actually, one is for wealth and one is for protection, so it's dual-sided, and there is a legend behind them that you cannot gift these to yourself. You can only give these to others. So this is the seal. We have put it on a rhodium chain. Rhodium just means that it's a little bit darker to make it look a little more authentic. See how it's dark. If it was in bright silver, I think it would be horrible looking. It wouldn't look antique, wouldn't look authentic like you've worn it a long time. But it is a very, very heavy piece. It actually weighs 19 grams. And this is going over to our Amazon store. The next thing that I wanted to show you that King Solomon wrote were um, the Proverbs, the woman of valor. Now, a woman of valor is actually such a modern day woman. It's a lady that stands up for herself, stands up for rights, for defense, for speaking up. And she faces whatever will come with dignity, her family, her husband, life surrounding her. She volunteers. It's the modern day uh, woman of the strength and the power. What we have um, is an unfinished piece, and I wanted to show this to you. It's a bracelet, so maybe actually you can help me decide. And it says on it, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. I, does it, it? It's perfect, right? Um, I'm just thinking, should it go on beads, sort of like these, but in silver? Should it go on beads, or should it go on a double chain? Um, so I'd love to hear your opinions on that. This, I, I, if you gave this to somebody, I would be totally touched by something like this. How meaningful, how special. And our last one is this pendant that I have on. And this is a true woman of valor. Um, it is gold and blackened or that rhodium that we spoke about earlier, silver. And it's just a lovely piece to show the woman in your life, how strong you are, how wonderful how modern you are and that is our king solomon's inspiration for jewelry thank you so much for watching and we'll talk soon bye bye